Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire in the Sir Mod. We are not no longer the sick men of Europe. In fact, I pretty much say that we are a pretty powerful nation. Although, for some reason, we have really terrible troops. Like, I still don't get it. Anyways, I'm going to be building new gigantic armies so that we can start dealing with all these problems. And start actually beating all these people up. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, I'm building two new gigantic armies right here and right over here. And that's how we, that's how the cookie crumbles right there, people. So, anyways, we lost a lot of men in that battle because the Swedish somehow have a insanely good defensive troops. Insanely good. We also just finished up this conquest, so I'm going to move back my men over here. Move my men up right there. And let's see, even Armenia is actually conquering. Wait, how does Armenia have a ships? Oh, yeah, they actually have a port. Whoops. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Completely forgot they had a port. So, yeah. Anyways, our vassals are getting sieged up right now, but Britain's, Britain's about to finish up the uh, Netherlands conquest. So that's going to be good once they finish up. I mean, once they finish up with all that, that's going to be really nice. Ladies need to do not adapt. What we have to do, though, is we're going to have to go destroy all these guys. Because I'm about sick. I'm really about sick of all these, like, Swedish Switzerland troops defeating me. So... Yeah, we could actually go pick up this army right here and go try to go destroy that last little 10k stack. Which I think I'm actually going to go do that. Let's go see if we go destroy that last little 10k stack right there. Because that may help us a lot if we had them. Latvia has a little bit less influence now. Let's see, work smarter, work harder. Yeah, either way it sounds about the same. Okay, you guys go right here. Let's go see, I have one royal troop. And nope, somehow we instantly get the disadvantage. Did I send in a bad attacker? No, this guy's really good at attack. It's just, we suffered. Dig it, oh my goodness. Yeah, let's retreat, retreat, retreat. Retreat, 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 retreat. retreat. These guys are gonna, can I retreat now? No. Can I retreat now? No, we're, we're gonna lose all these guys. Yeah, the Swedish somehow get major advantages. And definitely not a threat to be reckoned with. They definitely know how to fight. I'm not even going to deny it. The Swedish know how to fight. Okay, let's get back over here. Keep sieging up all this land. I think we're about done. Um, go down here. Go crush whatever army is trying to prevent us from crossing. And, yeah, wow. I lost severely badly. That's That, that makes me feel kind of ashamed that we lost that badly against Switzerland. Switzerland's a really hard country to conquer, like, its mountains are a treacherous terrain. We just finished up with the Strait, Sundrin Strait, we just destroyed all their, uh, soldiers. Yeah, it wasn't even a competition. We knew what we were doing. Okay, let's see. You guys somehow are still alive. Let's go kill you guys. There we go. Apparently we have a little friend moving in with us. Huzzah! And let's see, Amino Dubai is doing stuff. We are machine guns. Let's see that. Let's see. Does that actually give us access to this? No, we need states and governments. So, I actually do want to just colonize just a little bit. I don't want to colonize a lot, but this actually does help us out because we actually do need more capitalists in our country because we need to make sure they keep building up our country. So, yes. We're also getting a lot of capitalists because we are very, very rich esque people. Okay. And let's see, does any one of my vassals have an army? You guys. Actually, you guys. A GS10. Uh, command troops. Thank you. You guys are going to use your troops to go and fight the, uh, the sweet, the Switzerland. The Switzerland. Yes, you guys can unsiege all this land if you want. I really don't care, but should go fight Switzerland. By the way, you guys are probably done over here. Yep. Yeah, and you guys are sieging up all this land really quick. Okay, you guys get on the border. You guys, go destroy these people before they, like, become an actual issue. Now we get a cause of I don't really care. Just give me prestige. Dangerous men. Okay. Let's go see. Destroy these guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see. We're sieging up that again. And let's see. We have Arminians moving in to come help me, which is going to be nice. But, yeah, these guys right here, they're just insanely defended. Oh, my goodness. Okay, and I do have some men over here that are just trapped. Oh gosh. Let's see, we have a lot of our troops, a lot of our factories collapsing right now too. Which isn't exactly the best thing ever, but it is happening. 
Uh, they're finishing up their conquest over here. Are well, the British about done? Because I think they're done. I don't believe they actually have it in them to actually fight anymore. They literally lost all their soldiers. Have they given up Canada yet? Not quite yet. Probably after these wars, they're probably going to give up Canada. Um, yeah, they lost the rest of their soldiers. Yeah, they, they basically tossed all their soldiers into the gutter by fighting Germany. Which means Germany is now basically the all-ultra power. And actually, this would be a good time to go take them on. If we want to, if we want to destroy Britain, I think this would probably be the best time. Because all we just need is one place, one country to land on their borders, and we basically get all their land. The so war exhaustion, I don't think they're going to be much of an issue. Okay, let's just keep moving in. And let's see. Yeah, you guys move in if you want to, but I'm going to destroy that. Okay. And let's see. Switzerland has definitely proven that they can fight, by the way. I just want to point that out now. Switzerland has definitely proven that they have what it takes to fight me and to kill me. So, I'm going to wait until this army is all built, and then I'm going to go send them over. All of this. Because, as we know, Switzerland does not mess around. They seriously can do what they say they do. They can defend their country even though it's a little tiny island. Also, there's like one steamer ship here trying to prevent me from moving in. Go kill them. I don't like that. I don't like steamer ships that are trying to do something that I don't want them to do. Go kill them. Yeah. There we go. 44 versus 1. Even if they have the more advantage. Yes, and the British are helping a little bit too. That's cool. Okay, you guys. Yes. Okay, you guys go onto this island. Yes. Alright. Okay. Options pending. War reparations. I could declare war on China right now, but I don't really want to. And then over here. Okay. Do we have all of our men? Yes, we do. Go send them. Okay. First off, group them up. Go balance it out. Go send about half of our men to go this way. We're going to go destroy that unit, but we're not going to be idiots this time. We're going to go do it all smart like. Because as we can see, the Swedish are insanely good movers. Look at that. They are insanely powerful troops. Like, whatever the developers did to these guys, they seriously made sure that Sweden was almost incomprehensibly not being able to be conquered. They seriously made Swedish really powerful in this. I'm not even joking about that. And 22... Oh, okay. Let's just keep moving in. Keep moving in. Okay, we have our troops right there. Alright. This is a pretty big army that we're raising up. Okay, 43... This is about 54 troops about to go attack Sweden. This is going to be interesting. Boom. Let's see. Will that be able to break them? Yes. That broke them. Okay. Finally. Okay. Go right here. Go right there. There we go. Make sure that you destroy all makings. Okay. Make sure you destroy all the soldier making places. Because the Swedish are actually really hard to destroy. Oh gosh. And you guys go right here. Uh, you guys go right there. Okay, we're just gonna use this as kind of an intersection way as we slowly see through all of this land. Now we got this. Now we got an extra point right here. Slovakia, I think, is actually one of our big producers of people. So we go right there, produce more capitalists. And let's see, what else do we need? Uh, we don't need nationalism and imperialism. Let's see, let's get some more army troop management. Army decision making is actually something that would be really nice to get. Okay, let's go right there. You guys go right there. Uh, you guys combine. Oh, wait, I can't combine that because I think that's just dead soldiers and lots of other things. Okay. And I completely forgot to start the timer, people. So I'm going to say that was about five minutes in. So you guys get until five till. Good job. This might be either a longer or shorter episode, though, depending on my guesses. So be happy of that, people. Because apparently I'm forgetting a lot more as the time goes on. Let's see, you guys are all going to siege back that. You guys are almost all done sieging up that. Let's see. These guys are all sieging up this land. Let's see, the British are moving their troops, which is good. That means they're going to be soon sieging up more land. We probably have the ability to now go colonize some things. Yes, we do. Let's go colonize some of this land. Because we honestly want this land. Like, if anyone else is not going to take this land, we want it. Because then we will have a very powerful uh, start and a very powerful, uh, you know, 
country because then we have all this and that. And let's see. Do, 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 do. Intervene immediately! Huzzah! Okay, you guys go right there, you guys go right there. And we're about to finish up our Sweden conquering, so they're about dead. Oh, apparently I had some British troops right here that were about to help me, which they didn't. Well, that kind of annoys me right there. Not even going to deny, that kind of annoys me. But I'm pretty sure the British and Sweden made up. I mean, the British and, uh, those people. The, uh, the, uh, Germans. Yes, the Germans made up. So, we don't have to deal with that anymore. Now we're done with that. We don't really need the armies of the Armenians anymore. Okay, Armenians, get back to troops. Okay, or oh, Ajiristan, sorry, Ajiristan. There's a difference between you and Armenia. I know that, but I was thinking the wrong thing in my head. There we go. And Switzerland, you guys are out of this. Thank you. So now Switzerland's out of this, and now we have a much bigger land access. Open up all of our factories again, that way we get what we need. So, our economy's going a little bit, a little bit bad right now. But that's only because we probably have too much economic help. There we go. Have a little bit of that. Have like one or two tariff. That should help our economy just a little bit. That gets all the weaker businesses out of the way. And now we have a really good economy too. Let's see. Good supply limit would be right here. And there we go. Let's see. Go right there. And let's see. I mean, Dubai. And let's see. We have Britain who's basically conquered all that. And you guys who are losing quite heavily to everything. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we just need to finish up all your little conquests. I think we just basically need to conquest the rest of this land. And we have everything. Britain's definitely starting to help us out with this. Which is nice of Britain. Okay. But Britain's help, this should take a little bit less time. This should take a little bit less time. And even my Philippine allies are even helping out. Which is good. Moldavia finally broke free. So maybe we'll see the mighty Romanians for- Oh, we did. Huh. We might actually have to go declare war on Romania at some point, but... Because I definitely don't want them a free nation. Them as a free nation is a bad thing for us. Okay? You guys just, like, went down severely. Okay, you guys go group up with these guys. And, yeah. Let's see, go group up with those guys. Hard worker. Get all you guys in point-and-click system. Well, we have to increase our um, output next turn. And let's see. Seems like Danish, yeah, Danish Africa is actually a thing. Wow. That is pretty cool. No one's really going after my land, which I'm pretty happy of. Because I'm actually pretty, like, psyched. No one's going after this land. This is all my land. Model colony. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad we have a model colony. Because... That'd be really bad if we did not have the model colony. Okay, and let's see. Wurttemberg is being attacked by German brigades. The German, I think the German liberation movement is about to come. It's about to come sweeping into everywhere. Uh, we guess uh, Britain's about to attack there. Are they going to send any troops down here to go kick up these guys? Let's see. Yes. Okay. We're finally done with all that. Okay. We're finally done with all this. Yay. Look at that, guys! And look at that! Our name has now expanded all the way to over there. We now look insanely powerful, I believe. I mean, look at that. We have do 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 do. We can also start competing over here too, but eh, I don't want to. I also could get some of this land over here. Hmm. Nah. Don't. As I said before, I don't really want to. But I believe the next nation that we should go after is actually Danish. Or Denmark, if they were not allied with the British. Gosh dang it. Why they have to be allied with the British? If they weren't allied with the British, we'd be able to declare war on them! Oh man! Okay, of course not. Oh. They actually have rebels, and one of the rebels is actually in a place I can't defend. Wait, wait, are these... No, these are just Ottoman citizen guards. I thought they were going to be like Cuban nationalists. If they're not Cuban nationalists, then I don't really care. And I'm going to go build another gigantic army. So see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I am done again. And I'm going to go send these guys on to hunt revolts so that we don't have a gigantic empire that could potentially fall apart. Although right now we are technically having an empire that's uh, 
not exactly the most stable because of reasons. You guys group up, you guys go on the ships, we're gonna go have you guys go hunt down uh, more of these island places. Because there's so many islands. This is the most annoying thing about hunting down the Philippines is the fact there's so many islands. So many. I mean, look at this. So many islands. So many islands. Okay, and since we're starting to lose men, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, this right here. High and pressured steamers, because that's going to like help our economy out. Oh wait, we're a little bit too far. Go a little bit closer. And it seems like the British are starting to clean up all those little tiny uh, smaller islands for me. So what I'll do is I'll cut them a bone and start getting all these bigger islands for them. Which is going to make them really happy because they really do want these little tiny big islands. And let's see, is anyone going to conquer all this? Uh, Bata. I probably could get that for myself, actually. Uh, nah. I want to keep a good amount of, you know, colonial power just in case if I want to convert anything to a state. Because having a state is much better than having a colonial province. Okay. Let's see. We have most of these places being occupied by something. Uh, the British are moving in pretty quickly through their places. Okay, we only have a couple more places before these guys are all dead. Another place is also revolting. Lithuania. Can you guys deal with it? Oh, wow. Let's go see. Hey, hey, Venice. Venice. Psst. Go help them. Go help Lithuania. Okay, you know what? I'll do it for you then. Okay, command units. There we go. Lithuania. Go right here. Go crush through all those men just to make sure they all die. And there we go. Now you guys can leave. As soon as you guys give me back military access, you guys can all leave and then we can all get back to the point where we need to be. Let's see. And then you guys over here go move in our troops right over there. Oh, Brazil, you guys go bankrupt so we can force you to go pay debt, which is not really a good idea because I don't really care about that. Okay, where are all these rebellions coming from? Now it's starting to become kind of an issue. Okay. Give me the most popular rebellions. Okay. No, 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 no. What the heck? Where did all these rebellions come from? We used to have no rebellions in our country. It was a lovely place. Now we just have like six or seven a day. Okay. That's just weird. Like, seriously, let's just have all of our people go crush through everything. Dig deep and greedy. Yeah, you guys right here, Venencia, give back units. <laughs> yeah, you guys can have your units back. Because now, since I control that, I don't need it anymore. Okay. You guys, go hunt rebels. You guys, go hunt rebels. Yeah, it seems like we're actually going to have to start hunting rebels now, because there's rebels in my country a lot more. There's also some rebels on this island right here of Cuba, but I can't really deal with Cuba right now because Cuba's uh, out of my system. They're not really that important, at least right now. Let's see. We also owe most of this part. And Liberia goes bankrupt. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. We have all we need to get. Ah, they won't accept it yet, though. Okay. Let's go destroy more then. Destroy more! Okay, we're gonna help the British right here take down this. Let's see, intervene immediately. Armenia goes bankrupt. Argentina goes bankrupt. Alright, now that we got this, they're gonna go battle my troops, all my ships. Let's go have them kill all my ships. Because why not? Let's go have them kill all my ships. Let's go have them kill all my ships. And there we go. Yep, kill all my ships. Got more interchangeable part now we can get some more iron because I also have really lots of iron in my country we're well, good iron yeah you see now I got out of the fight the disease with everything we got I don't want my people to start dying randomly okay there we go and let's see the last little bits of their empire are where hmm I believe the last little bit is this it must be because I don't know where else they would have land. Did we siege this? I'm pretty sure we did. We must have sieged that. Yeah. This is what I thought. Okay. 
Let's see. They okay. This will tell me where all the seeds land is. No, it won't. Okay. Well, British Africa. They have a couple islands right there. Uh, we seeds most of all this. Seeds all that. Yeah, it must be that little place right over there. Okay. So we're gonna go send our boats all the way to this little province over here. Go land in right here in Britain land. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go attack the, uh, the, uh, oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. They, they just freely gave up themselves. So, actually, you guys, you guys get to become the new protectors of this region. And instantly, I'm going to start getting my, uh, infamy down because I think it's getting way too high. So, let's see. Who do we want to release? Oh, it'd be so nice if we just release these guys instantly, like, Hey, you guys, we just conquered you, but now we're just going to have you guys released. Nah, they're a little bit too powerful of a nation, but... Uh, let's see, I don't want to free them yet. Let's see... Who do I want to free? Who do I want to free? Cuba. Cuba. Hmm. No, we could actually free Cuba, because... I do like having them, but they're kind of annoying to, like, pay attention to. But then again, I can't actually send troops to go get them. Never mind. Uh, Balfouris, Bali. Ooh, Bali! Let's get Bali freed. Alright, and... Another nation, probably, because my infamy is still too high. Java. Oh, no, Lucia. Lucia is literally to one province. Okay, there we go. We now have this many troops. Let's go make up our new troops. Get up our new industry to skyrocket our industry basically we now have let's see how's our industry doing we're about half the size of most of the big guys we're almost the size of America which is what I like and let's see um what I'm now hoping is that these two guys will go at it I'm hoping that so hard okay and the two Sicilies are now no one's friend which is what I like so the no one's friend which means we can instant. Can we do something to them? Hmm. We could do. No, no. They're pretty allied. They're allied up. Man, the British have a good amount of spheres of influence. Okay, that means. Yeah, they have alliances up the. Uh, everywhere, basically. <laughs> hmm. But is it time? Let's see. Let's see, how many troops are in everyone's owning right now? 408 for the Chinese. Wow. They have a lot. 132 for the French. USA 89. Ottoman Empire 77. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. Uh, German Empire 38. Oh, 50. Sorry. 50. Hmm. Britain 31. I could believe that. Britain's pretty battered. Um. What we could do is we could cancel our alliance with these guys because they have so many alliances. Uh, I don't believe we actually need them for any more conquest, at least for a little bit. So we don't really need them right now, so let's not use them. And let's see. We could probably get France on our side. Get France on our side, we could use them to go. Oh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.